My name is Jan Hunst. I am one of the clinical embryologists at the AZ St. Jan campus in Bruges. We started up the IVF lab more than 25 years ago after completing my master's in zoological sciences and having an intensive training um, at the Free University of Brussels, Belgium's biggest centre of reproductive medicine. I also have my ASHRAE certification as senior clinical embryologist. We are a public unit performing around 550 fresh IVF ICSI cycles, almost 400 frozen ambulatory transfers and 350 um, inseminations annually. We are proud of our results. 55% of our day five fresh and frozen ambulatory transfers get pregnant and 45% of them have a positive fetal heart rate, giving an implantation rate of 44%. Overall, for all cycles, we can speak about an implantation rate of 32%. In 2006, we opened our new laboratory facilities. Of course, this is a lot of work following um, the regulations. We were one of the first IVF laboratories in Belgium and in Europe that were in compliance with the European Cell and Tissue Directive. To be compliant, Federal Agency for Medicine and Health Products also request, requests that all materials and devices that are used for human procurement of cells and tissues are IVF approved. So we reviewed all our materials and devices that are used in our IVF process flow and it came out that labware was our weakest chain. Um, about 15 items were not IVF approved. In that time also many companies tried to fulfill these requirements um, in IVF um, concerning the labware. And at that moment, we tried and tested many of the available um, dishes that were on the market and we tested it out in our culture system. So finally, we have chosen for the Vitrolife labware because of many reasons. First of all, they have the widest range of CE um, marked and approved um, labware, plastic labware for IVF. Um, it's a company that is specialized in IVF and pays uh, a big attention to a very high standard uh, uh, quality control. And that quality control includes um, the one cell mouse embryo assay. This is a test a sensitive test that cannot be done in-house. But the most decisive reason for going uh, with their labware was the unique design of the culture dishes with a uniform heat platform, um, which uh, improved um, our way of temperature calibration and also temperature distribution in the dish. Maintaining the correct temperature is a critical environmental factor for gametes and embryos and need to be carefully monitored. You must be aware of confounders such as hot and cold spots on warming plates, airflow in laminar hood or ventilation, open or closed lids to ensure a safe working temperature. Because of the uniform flat bottom of the vitrolife dishes, the temperature is the same between a center well and a culture dish. While they can be up to 0 0.8 degrees Celsius, difference between dishes from other companies. So we now have a temperature validation and entrance control, leading to a better inventory of CE approved um, IVF um, plastic materials 
and devices and media um, as documentation uh, to external authorities. So we now have a safe feeling by using these products that are manufactured and tested for IVF. So in summary, we can say that the implementation of the Vitrolife labware has improved our quality performance in the laboratory.